This is New Day Northwest. Now from the Premiera Blue Cross Studio, here's Margaret Larson. Good morning, welcome to New Day Northwest. We're learning to fix up our outdoor spaces no matter what the size so that they're fully usable and inviting for the summer ahead. We'll also take a deeper look at the asylum process so much in the news these days with a Northwest expert. And then we're fortifying our healthy lives with some brand spanking new recipes to share this morning. And we start with a food blogger whose family has embraced the Whole30 way of cooking and eating. Michelle Smith's new book is called The Whole Smiths, and it features recipes that are not only Whole30 compliant, but they have been endorsed by the program's founder, and they'll make the whole family happy. Michelle joins me now. Thanks for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I know so many people have been doing Whole30, yes. but just in case we have viewers who haven't heard of that, what is it? Yes, so the Whole30 is a 30-day program whereby you remove a lot of stuff that has been creating inflammation in your diets mm -hmm. and things that aren't serving our bodies well. Remove that for 30 days. After the 30 days, you slowly reintroduce different items in and see how your body responds. That so way, if you add something back in, yes. sugar or something, that yep. you're, well, we're trying to stay away from that, but you right. add something back in and you don't feel so good, then maybe you know right. I'm either allergic to that or that just doesn't work for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. Dairy is a huge trigger for a lot of people that yep. they don't realize because we have it so often. So whether it's skin conditions or allergies or different things like that, people reintroduce it and be able to identify what an issue was that they were having. Can kids do this too? Is this safe for kids? It absolutely is. Okay. Um, I personally haven't had my children do one yet. They don't have a medical reason to do so at this point. And I think they have a very healthy relationship with food. So Good. at this point, and they gonna, like these recipes. This is what they eat, though. They eat what we eat. That's so, so cool. Yep. So you've written, because it's for the whole Smith. Yes. All the Smiths All are the doing Smiths. it. The Whole Smith Cookbook. Yes. And it's a beautiful book. And you've introduced some recipes that I haven't seen before, which yes. I think is one of the stumbling blocks for us, is that we want to do these things, but we think, right. I don't know how to cook that way. Absolutely. So this is an answer. What all is in your book, and what yes. are we making today? So... I really wanted to design my cookbook for any home chef. Anyone at home can make these recipes and I wanted it to be not intimidating. There's not a lot of unfamiliar ingredients. You don't have to go buy specialty items to make Good. any of the recipes. So today I we're- I see salmon. Oh, so yes. So happy. <laughs> so I'm gonna be showing you how to make this. It is perfect for summer. You can grill it. It uses seasonal berries. We're gonna do Ooh, a yum. salmon with fresh berries, basil, and a balsamic drizzle. Oh my goodness. And so I know fish and, fish and fruit, you kind of are like, oh, but, but the it's combination. Great. It's sort of like the savory and, and sweet. Absolutely. Um, only maybe not that big of a contrast, but it's delicious yeah. together. Absolutely. And it's really easy. It's great if you're having guests over in the summer and you don't want to spend all day in the kitchen. Right. And you want to hang out with you your, be your outside friends with and your family. Friends and Absolutely. Cook. So let's pretend so, we're grilling it. Yep. So we're going to, you can also make it in a pan if you don't want to mm -hmm. grill it. So we're going to get the pan going. Okay. Um, you can whip that up. There you go. And you want to get it semi hot enough. You want to get a good sear on the outside. And so I'm going to. Will it, I'm sorry to interrupt. No. Will it sizzle when you put the, the fish yes, in if it's it at will. the right temperature? Yep. So we're going to do it on medium high for right now. What we're going to do is we're going to season the salmon okay. with just a little bit of salt. And it's okay. Be, well, I like be generous with the salt. <laughs> And get the both sides of it. Okay. Uh, we Even love the skin, skin. side. Oh my right, gosh. Good. My kids, they call it, um, they love it. It's they delish. They fight over the salmon skin. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to get it really crispy for them. Very good. So once our pan's hot, we're going to add a little bit of oil. I like using um, avocado oil. Um, if you're grilling it, you just want to put the oil straight onto the salmon. Okay. And then you can grill, add a little bit to your grill. And so this way we can kind of handle the high heat with the yes, avocado oil. Absolutely. Right. So now we're going to add the salmon on. Beautiful. I always start it skin side down. Mm -hmm. And let's get it a little bit hotter. Yep. This it's a little hard to tell when you don't have gas or a grill where I you know. can really. I got hear used to the, the the gas. <laughs> right. But while that's sizzling, what we want to do is we want to not move it for six minutes. Let it stay there because I hear it. Yeah. Here it is. There I love it goes. That sound. So you want to let it sit there because if you try to flip it too soon, salmon, especially on the grill, is going to fall apart. So right. let it sit there, cook up, get a nice finish on it. Don't bother yep. it. So Plus, we can see it from the side, so we know how done it is. This absolutely. isn't a mystery. Absolutely. So what we're going to do is we're going to let that cook, okay. and then we are going to create a balsamic reduction. How do we do that? Is so easy. You add, so easy. You <laughs> add your balsamic vinegar to a saucepan, put it on medium, and let it reduce down. And that's it. 
that's it. And you How don't want to. How long does it take? Uh, maybe five minutes. You, you can speed it up by turning it up a little bit, mm -hmm. but just keep an eye on it so it doesn't get too thick. Right. Um, so you get your balsamic reduction going. And then you're ready to piece it together. That's awesome. And that just sort of is not quite syrup thick. No. But it's just a thicker, it'll condense the flavor down. So you get yeah. all of that rich balsamic oh. flavor condensed down okay. into a little uh, syrupy drizzle. Let's assemble. <laughs> <laughs> right? Let's see how this comes together. Okay. So now all you do is we're going to top it with some of the strawberries or a lot of the strawberries. <laughs> Because you might really like strawberries, like yes. me. And my kids, when I make it for them, they just, they think it's strawberries with salmon. That's, well, pretty much, right? Yeah. And then we're going to add our basil, and we're going to do the drizzle. Show us how to make that really pretty. Oh, well, no I pressure, right? No, pr well, <laughs> you know, it's just kind of nice when it's not just there on top, but you put it on the plate, and you can dip a little bit of your fish as you go across. That's right? gorgeous. Look and at that. that. I mean, That's you it. see how easy it is, and there's so much flavor in it. it and it smells delicious. I really think with healthy eating, you need, you need to keep it interesting. Okay, I'm having a little bit yes. of the balsamic just because I love the taste of that. What do we have yes. here? So these are some shishito peppers. Shishito <laughs> peppers are um, relatively mild little peppers that I love getting a good char on it. I love that extra smoky flavor. So we. The same way we do the salmon, we just get a cast iron skillet really hot, add them in with a little bit of um, avocado and sesame oil, and they're good to go. It takes about five minutes. And it's simple. It's super simple. I like topping it with a little um, flaky sea salt, mm -hmm. and then we have a sriracha mayo dip to dip it in. Oh, which we can use for a million things, oh, right? Oh my gosh, yes, and you can even thin it out with a little bit of almond milk to make a dressing. Wow, oh, that's so, a good idea. Make yeah. your sauce and then keep the leftover yeah. as a Absolutely. dressing. Absolutely. You also have this salad over here, which looks delicious. Yes. And Tell this me about is this one. A cauliflower rice tabbouleh. And when I come up with recipes, I like taking things that we're familiar with mm -hmm. and removing the things that we might not be might not be serving our bodies, like okay. if it was grains, and then figuring out what I can replace it with that's gonna be a little bit more nutrient dense. So in this case, we remove the grain and mm -hmm. inserted cauliflower rice instead. Oh my gosh, and if you get a ricer, this is so easy. Oh, so easy. And in fact, they, you easy. can buy cauliflower rice that's <laughs> pre-made every time now, and which, which has awesome. saved me so much. So what else is in there? We've got the rice cauliflower, and what else? Yep, so there's a little bit of mint and parsley, so we get that Mediterranean flavor. There's mm -hmm. tomatoes, there's fresh cucumber, there are olives, and red bell peppers, a little bit mm -hmm. of lime, lemon juice, and you toss it up, and you have all, it's, it's all of the same flavors that we know and love. And let's say we did this. I'm going to take yes. a little taste. Let's say we did this and we loved it, but then you mm -hmm. add back in grain. What might you notice? Um, for me personally, I get really bloated and some stomach um, intestinal issues mm. when I have too much grain. So I still have grain from time to time when it's worth it to me. But if I can make a healthier swap, then I mean, you don't miss the grain. That You're is getting amazing. Extra veggies. I wouldn't know the difference. If you told no. me that was grain, I would have no idea. Absolutely. And the cookbook takes us through all kinds of recipes. Yes. You know, from stem yep. to stern, we can learn new things. That was delicious. I had just a little bite of the balsamic, yep. but that's happening tonight yes. at our house. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Absolutely. Thank you. Should we flip this yeah, baby? Let's Somebody's going. going to want that for lunch. We have linked more on the <laughs> producer Joseph just went me. <laughs> We've linked more on the cookbook online and recipes for the dishes that Michelle spotlighted today. She's sharing, which we really appreciate. Coming up, we're going to learn more about the status of children being separated from their asylum-seeking parents and being held at detention facilities. Some of those parents in SeaTac. An update, some things have happened this morning. We'll talk with a Northwest expert after this. New Day cooking segment brought to you by Ferguson Bath Kitchen and Lighting Gallery, powered by Electrolux.